Hey everyone, Mike Annie's here, and today I'm actually at a property, and I want to walk you through a couple things I do to be more efficient and save time when you're mowing grass as a commercial landscaper. Um, so first and foremost, this is actually the wrong way to park typically, because typically I want to be on my curb side getting my blower and my weed whacker. Now the reason I did this though specifically is because, again, it always comes down to just having a strategy in place and knowing where your next stop is, whether it be next stop in terms of the next house or in terms of the next stop on an individual property and what you're doing, what the next step is. And so specifically in this area, there's really no traffic in terms of cars. So I'm not concerned about being out in the road and having to touch the weed whacker and the blower. However, it still makes more sense. Well, why would you not be on the other side of the property or other side of the, of the, um, the truck? and getting it from that side. Well, the reason for that is because I know the next property is about half a block down that direction. And so if I would have parked on that side, yes, I would have been on the curb, it would have been safer. However, I kind of balance out the fact there's not much traffic and I want to be closer to the house. Um, and so typically though, we do make sure that we have the weed whackers and the blowers on the curb side. And in a lot of our market, you can't park like this. It's just that there's not any traffic around here so I can get away with it. So let's walk through the property that I just completed and kind of go through the different steps that I think about when it comes to mowing a lawn most efficiently. So the first thing I'm gonna do is weed whack because this property specifically, I have actually never been to. And the nice thing about weed whacking is I know I have to touch the entire perimeter of the property. So edging all along the uh, hard, hard surfaces as well as the flower beds, I know I have to do the entire perimeter. So by doing that, I know I'm gonna see the entire property uh just by doing the weed whacking first so as i'm doing the weed whacking i'm creating a plan because this is my very first time at this property so i'm creating a plan so first thing i was think looking at is, okay which direction am i going to do the lines on the front of the uh of the front lawn and typically you're going to see the lines best when you're looking down the lines so as you can see here the lines look best here now the grass is pretty dormant i only got like two bags of clippings off this yes we bag it's pretty common in our area everyone bags um just the type of grass we have in the pacific northwest however the reason i do this is because the vast majority of people looking at this long are going to be coming down that road or coming around this corner and so if i did the lines perpendicular to me right now and I did them this way it might only look good for literally the people walking on the front uh front walkway there the vast majority of people looking at this lawn are coming from the front roadway so this lawn specifically um they actually requested specifically not to have zero turns so again that's why I have the trailer list set up with a push mower um, and it didn't really matter because this tiny little gate, I'd only be able to get a small push mower in the back anyways. But this is a kind of a hilly, lots of different spots in the back here in terms of grass. And the big thing that I do not want to do, I want to avoid doing is having to go back to the truck. So the first thing that I did when I was doing the weed whacking, because I'm doing the entire perimeter, uh, I am just kind of keeping track of, okay, where's all the grass going to come from in terms of my clippings? And the first thing I saw was this spot right in the back here. This is where... I knew I was going to get a lot of clippings. So what I did is when I bring the mower back here after finishing the front yard, I made sure I bring an empty bin and I put it right here. So that way, as I was mowing, I filled up the bin, I could dump it in there. And then on the way out, I was able to just put the bin on top of the mower and drive out using the self, uh, self propelled aspect of the mower. Um, so I'm also thinking about as I'm doing my weed whacking, I'm thinking about where am I going to need the blower after I done finish mowing? There's nowhere down below where I needed the blower. So I knew this is the only portion I'd have to take the blower and you're just constantly planning. And so after doing the front lawn with the, with the weed whacker, backyard with the weed whacker, then I mow the entire thing with a push mower and then I come back and I blow everything off. Afterwards, what I'm actually doing right now as I'm making this video is doing the, my final walkthrough. I'm just walking around the property, making sure I didn't miss anything, I'm making sure I closed gates. There was another gate on the other side of the property. I made sure I closed that. I'm ensuring that everything looks great. Um, I'm looking for anything that I might have missed in terms of little piece of grass that might have got over the edge. Because, for example, I did this edge and then I mowed. I know some people do it vice versa. Um, I would typically weed whack first 
then blow off the driveway and walkways onto the lawn and then mow if it was really overgrown. If it's not really overgrown, like in this right now, it's just not a whole lot of debris. Um, you can get away with what I did and that is just weed whack. Then I, uh, then I mowed everything and I blow everything off. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough. I'm, I'm always making sure that before I leave the truck, everything is fueled up. So in the back here, I got my the 25 inch Y Bravo. I got my weed whackers. Everything is fueled up before I head out. And on these sides of properties, every two job, every two jobs, every two properties, I'm going to fill everything up because usually it, they last about three or four, but I'm not, the last thing I want to do is be in the back of this property and run out of string, run out of uh, fuel, and then have to walk all the way back to the truck. So, all right, on to the next one.